Hey everyone, my first year here, I just dove into Schoolmaster and did my best. And I wanted to create weighted categories like homework and tests, quizzes, participation. Um, so I'd come on the screen and I would create groups and I would put weights on those groups. Um, and just, you know, with the dates and uh, the ways that the, the groups worked and all that kind of stuff, it just, it was such a hassle. Um, so many times when we did grade checks, my grades were off and I'd have to figure it out and go fix something. Um, uh, and especially at the end of the year, I just spent hours uh, just trying to figure out this problem and, and Kelly was was haunted by my problems. So uh, it was terrible. Last year, Jennifer Kirby showed me uh, a great way to set up your, um, your grade book with weighted categories uh, so that it all works. And it's all a, a lot less complicated. So um, I thought it would be helpful to see a little picture because it, it does involve groups and then calculations and more groups and more calculations. So um, I think all of us are familiar with creating a bunch of different homework assignments. And we'll funnel those into a group called homework. And again, typically you would weight this group. And that that's, was my downfall. Um, then we do the same thing with tests. We'll create a group called tests and put all our tests in there do the same with some maybe participation, some quizzes, right? Um, now just, we're not going to weight those groups. We're going to take these groups and they're going to feed into calculations. Okay, we're going to make a calculation for our homework in the first quarter. So we'll have a quarter one homework calculation. All these things in the test group will feed into a quarter one test calculation. All these things in the participation will make a quarter one participation and the quizzes will make a quarter one uh, quiz calculation. So everything here, uh, and these are the things that are going to be weighted, right? This may be 55%, and this may be, uh, or this is homework, this is 25%, 55% for tests, participation is 5%, quizzes, uh, say, are 15%. Okay, you just decide what those weights are going to be. Um, and so that's where the weight comes from. And it's, a, it's just a lot more stable that way. So what we're going to do is take all those calculations and make those part of a group called quarter one. Okay. And when quarter two comes along, we'll do the same thing. We'll have all of these groups, and the groups will feed into these calculations. Okay, there'll be separate calculations defined by different date uh, ranges, and we'll have a quarter two homework and a quarter two test and so on and so on. And we'll group these together and this group will be called quarter two. Okay. Um, and then we'll, we'll make a calculation for quarter one, a quarter one calculation. Just the, everything in quarter one will uh, will be in a group called quarter one, and that'll feed into a calculation called quarter one. Everything in quarter two will constitute the quarter two calculation. All of these, these two things, will be part of the semester one group, and then the semester one group will make the semester one calculation. Okay. So it's a little bit complicated. That's why I thought a picture might help. Each of the groups feeds into a calculation. These calculations get grouped together into quarter one. This quarter one calculation will be, um, you'll, you'll see we define calculations based on members of a group. So everything in quarter one will make the quarter one group, or the quarter one calculation, and so on. So let's jump over here. Uh, so first we need to make all these groups, right? First, the ones that, that uh, seem kind of intuitive and just make sense, the ones that we would try and make. <clears throat> All the, the grade books start with classwork. I'm going to do homework. Um, don't worry about anything else. Just name them. Um, and then tests, quizzes, participation. Now we'll make the quarter one, quarter two groups. 
semester one. And that's it. We'll just leave it. We'll, we'll do the semester one stuff. And it'll be like the exact same thing for semester two. Uh, and then uh, Schoolmaster will automatically um, you know, average out semester one and semester two for the overall grade. That was another problem that I had the first year. All right, so we have our groups ready to go. We'll go over assignments and we'll create our calculations. So make sure you click that Add Calc button there. So our first calculation is going to be <coughs> uh, quarter one homework. And you might make a shorter heading. So this is where we decide our weights. So we're going to put 25 there. Um, and we need to do the date range. Got to be uh, careful about that. Uh, let's see, September 4th. And this this quarter ends November 7th. Um, and you could add it to multiple grade books if you want. That would work just fine because it's just a, a, a calculation called homework with a heading, a weight, and a, a date range. So it certainly would be a good idea to put it in all your grade books. Um, so you could just select all of them and say OK. Um, and this part is uh, a kind of weird so and you have to pick something so just pick quarter one and then keep going so then you make your quarter one test calculation um, anyway uh, quarter one test uh, weight date range Add it to all your grade books. Okay. And you have to pick something. Um, let's see. You'll notice I picked uh, this secondary mark position quarter one for this one, and, and then this one took it over. It can only belong to one calculation. Um, and let's keep going here. We'll make the quarter one. Uh, quiz calculation. That'll be 15. Get our date range set. It's going to be five. Uh, yeah, September 4th through November 7th. Okay. All right, so there's my four uh, categories as far as what the, the students will do. Uh, so let's go through and define a few things. First of all, the quarter one homework is part of the quarter one grade, so I'm going to group it in quarter one. And the quarter one participation, likewise, all these things should be part of quarter one. All right, now let's go back through. The, the quarter one homework grade is based on all of the things that I put into the group called homework, so I'm going to base it on the homework uh, group. Everything in the homework group is going to funnel into the quarter one homework grade calculation. Okay, then participation is based on participation group, quizzes, and tests. Okay. Um, now, all of this stuff um, is in the quarter one group. And all of that quarter one group stuff is going to make a calculation called quarter one. So we'll say Q1. Let's say it's not, you know, we're not going to weight it. We want it to be just weighted equally with quarter two. So we won't worry about uh, that stuff. Um, it's going to be based on everything that's in the quarter one group. Everything from the homework to the test funnels in the quarter one group. And the quarter one group makes this calculation. Okay. And we want to make sure to get our date ranges right. There we go. 
You can add it to all of our grade books if you want. Okay, so here's where the, the mark position uh, works. It's, it's the, the one that needs to have this mark position. It's going to be the quarter one. So this is when you post grades every week, uh, this is what it's going to look for. It's going to look for the grade that's right here in this calculation, quarter one. Okay, so there we go. Our calculation called quarter one is based on things in the group, quarter one, uh, and the mark position is quarter one. This means uh, tell schoolmaster when you post grades to the, the office, look for this guy right here, this quarter one calculation. So this quarter one is part of your semester grade, so you are going to make it part of the semester one group. Um, okay, And that's, that's quarter one. So everything is ready for quarter one. Quarter one is going into semester one. Um, and when semester two comes along, do this exact same thing. Create a quarter two test, quiz, participation, homework. Make them all part of quarter two, right? And then you're going to make a quarter two calculation. Let's do that. Quarter two calculation. Maybe Q2 heading. Uh, now quarter two is going to be based on everything that's in the group quarter two, right? There's going to be quarter two homework and tests and stuff that's in the quarter two group, and it's going to make the quarter two calculation. Okay, so this uh, goes from November 8th to let me grab my calendar here goes to January 23rd. Okay. Uh, we can add it to all our grade, grade books. Say okay. Um, mark position, it's going to be quarter two. All right. And now this quarter two calculation, uh, it's going to post a quarter two. Uh, it's uh, based on the the members of the group quarter two, and then we're going to make sure and put quarter two in the group semester one. Then for semester one, we'll make a calculation called semester one, uh, weight is the same, we just want it to be equally weighted with semester two. Um, this is going to be based on group that members of the group semester one. The only things in semester one are the quarter one and quarter two calculations. They're in the semester one uh, group. And then we'll make sure semester one needs to span from the beginning of the semester to the end. So this goes all the way to January 23rd. Select all the grade books. And it needs to post to the semester one mark. Um, so there we go. And when semester two comes along, we'll do everything the same. Um, just with different dates and different names. Um, and if what you want to do is create weighted categories like homework, participation, and so on, uh, I f yeah, I just feel like you got to do this. It just works so much better than weighting the groups themselves. That creates so much headache. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.